Launching cargo and crew dozens of times and being reused up to five times might seem routine from SpaceX's perspective. However, this is something that competitors like Boeing Starliner won't be able to achieve for at least another five years. That's why NASA chose SpaceX's Dragon to rescue the two Starliner astronauts stranded in space. Now that the mission has been completed, I believe this is the perfect time to explore Dragon's unique technical capabilities and how SpaceX has outclassed its competitors. Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Dragon is not only a flagship spacecraft for SpaceX, but also a cornerstone of the U.S. space industry. With such a prestigious title, Dragon has never failed to impress. Since its debut, it has set multiple records for SpaceX, including the first crewed flight to the ISS launched from U.S. soil in nearly a decade, the first private crewed mission featuring a civilian in space, and the first spacecraft with near total reusability since the space shuttle era. One might wonder which spacecraft today could achieve such feats, Soyuz, Starliner, or perhaps even Orion, but none have managed to match Dragon's accomplishments. While Dream Chaser aims for reusability, it has yet to fly. So far, SpaceX's Crew Dragon has completed 16 crewed missions, carrying 60 astronauts into Earth's orbit. The Dragon program is thriving, with flights occurring more frequently than originally planned due to Boeing's repeated Starliner delays. This underscores Crew Dragon's growing significance and its necessity for all government-funded human spaceflight missions. Most recently, Crew Dragon successfully rescued two Starliner astronauts after nearly nine months in space. This mission further demonstrated the spacecraft's reliability, earning universal recognition for its capabilities. Even nature seemed to celebrate the moment. As seen in live broadcasts, dolphins were spotted swimming around the Dragon capsule after it splashed down almost as if welcoming it back. So after all this, what groundbreaking innovations have allowed Dragon to achieve such success? These very advancements are what enable SpaceX to maintain Dragon's dominance over its competitors. First and foremost, Crew Dragon's autonomous docking technology is a game-changing feature that marks a transformative shift in how humans approach space exploration. Unlike predecessors, such as the Space Shuttle, which relied heavily on astronaut piloting skills for rendezvous and docking, or earlier cargo vehicles like the Progress and Dragon One that depended on the International Space Station's Canadarm2 for berthing, Crew Dragon redefines the paradigm with a fully automated system. This capability leverages an advanced sensor suite, including LiDAR for precise distance and shape mapping, infrared cameras for thermal tracking in varying light conditions, and GPS for positional accuracy, allowing the spacecraft to align and connect with the ISS's docking port with surgical precision. The result is a seamless, hands-off process that has been likened to a self-parking car, but executed at 17,500 miles per hour in the unforgiving vacuum of space. This autonomy shines in its practical benefits. Offloading the docking task from astronauts or ground crews slashes the cognitive and operational burden during critical mission phases. For instance, during Demo 2 in May 2020, Astronauts Bob Banken and Doug Hurley monitored the system, but didn't need to intervene as Crew Dragon flawlessly latched onto the ISS's Harmony module. This reduction in workload isn't just about convenience. It's a safety multiplier. The system's redundancy, with multiple sensors cross-checking each other, minimizes the risk of human error or single-point failures, a stark improvement over manual methods where fatigue or misjudgment could spell disaster. Data from NASA's commercial crew program highlights that the docking process, once a tense, multi-hour ordeal, now unfolds in under 30 minutes from final approach to hard mate, a testament to the technology's efficiency and reliability. What makes this especially intriguing is that autonomous docking is a stepping stone to fully independent space missions, where human presence or real-time control from Earth might be impractical. Consider deep space scenarios like lunar orbit or Mars transit. Communication delays of up to 24 minutes round trip to the Red Planet mean ground teams can't guide a spacecraft in real time. Crew Dragon's proven ability to navigate and dock without oversight, demonstrated again in the Crew 8 mission in March 2024, offers a blueprint for future craft destined for the Moon, Mars, or beyond. SpaceX has hinted at adapting this tech for Starship, which could autonomously link with orbital fuel depots or Martian habitats, amplifying its relevance for Elon Musk's interplanetary ambitions. The next unique and significant thing is Dragon's reusability and cost-effectiveness. Unlike the disposable spacecraft of the past, both Cargo Dragon and Crew Dragon are engineered to return to Earth intact, be refurbished, and fly again. 
This paradigm shift slashes the financial barriers that have long constrained space exploration, turning what was once a single-use luxury into a repeatable, almost routine operation. The space community, from NASA administrators to private sector visionaries, can't help but take notice as SpaceX demonstrates that reusability isn't just a buzzword, it's a viable path to making spaceflight more accessible and economically sustainable. Take the Cargo Dragon's track record, the Dragon C-108 capsule, for example, first launched on the CRS-6 mission in April 2015, delivering over 4,000 pounds of supplies to the ISS before splashing down in the Pacific. After refurbishment, it flew again on CRS-13 in December 2017, proving that a spacecraft could withstand the rigors of launch, re-entry, and ocean recovery, then do it all over again. This wasn't a one-off stunt. SpaceX has since normalized the practice. By March 2025, multiple Cargo Dragon capsules have logged three or more flights, with Crew Dragon joining the trend. Endurance, for instance, completed its fourth crewed mission in late 2024. Each reuse cuts costs dramatically. While a new Dragon might cost upwards of $100 million to build, refurbishing one for relaunch is estimated at a fraction of that, perhaps $30 to $40 million, factoring in inspections, component swaps, and recertification. Compared to the shuttle's $1.5 billion per flight price tag, adjusted for inflation, Dragon's economics are a revelation. This reusability doesn't just save money, it redefines mission planning. NASA's commercial resupply services contracts once assumed a steady stream of new spacecraft. Now, SpaceX can bid lower by leveraging a fleet of proven veterans. The CRS-28 mission in 2023, flown by a thrice-used cargo Dragon, delivered science payloads for less than half the per kilogram cost of its disposable predecessors, according to SpaceX's own cost breakdowns. This thriftiness has analysts buzzing. Could reusable spacecraft drop launch costs below $10 million per flight someday? opening space to universities, startups, or even spacefaring nations on tight budgets? But that is not enough. The implications stretch beyond dollars. Reusability aligns with sustainability goals that captivate environmentally conscious space advocates. Single-use spacecraft litter ocean graves or burn up on re-entry, but Dragon splashdowns, guided by parachutes and recovered by ships, preserve hardware for future use, reducing waste. The space community, long criticized for its ecological footprint, sees in Dragon a model for greener spaceflight. Yet, it's not without trade-offs. Refurbishment requires meticulous inspection of heat shields, avionics, and pressure vessels, a process SpaceX has streamlined but never fully detailed publicly. Crew Dragon's Super Draco engines and launch escape system, LES, are the following impressive elements. The Super Draco-powered LES is integrated directly into the Crew Dragon's hull, featuring eight hypergolic engines arranged in pairs around the capsule's base. Each Super Draco delivers a jaw-dropping 16,000 pounds of thrust, enabling the spacecraft to rocket away from a disintegrating Falcon 9 in under two seconds, reaching speeds of over 500 miles per hour almost instantly. This isn't just a safety feature, it's a visceral, adrenaline-pumping marvel that redefines how we protect astronauts, making it a magnet for space enthusiasts and engineers alike. The system's design offers a stark contrast to its predecessors. Older LES setups, like those on Mercury, Apollo, or even Russia's Soyuz, relied on detachable towers or modules that activated only during specific launch phases. Jettisoning once the rocket cleared the danger zone. Crew Dragon's Super Dracos, however, remain active throughout the ascent, providing an anytime, anywhere escape capability from pad to orbit. This was proven in the January 2020 in flight abort test, where a Crew Dragon blasted away from a deliberately detonated Falcon 9 at max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress, splashing down safely 19 miles off Florida's coast. The test showcased a level of protection unmatched by the shuttle which lacked an escape system post-launch, a vulnerability tragically exposed during Challenger's 1986 disaster. With Super Dracos, SpaceX ensures astronauts have a lifeline no matter the failure mode, be it a booster explosion or an upper stage anomaly. The journey to this reliability, though, was anything but smooth. In April 2019, during a static fire test of the Super Dracos at Cape Canaveral, a catastrophic anomaly turned a Crew Dragon test article into a fireball, delaying the program and raising doubts about the engine's readiness. SpaceX traced the failure to a leaky valve, 
allowing nitrogen tetroxide to mix prematurely with monomethylhydrazine, hypergolic propellants that ignite on contact, causing an explosion. The fix? A redesigned valve system and rigorous retesting culminated in the 2020 Triumph. How SpaceX transformed a smoldering setback into a system NASA certified for human flight is a masterclass in problem solving under pressure. That is also something not every space company has the courage to pursue. The final unique capability that only SpaceX's Dragon can achieve is its role in stabilizing and adjusting the International Space Station. On November 8, 2024, we saw the Cargo Dragon's Draco thrusters fire for 12.5 minutes, nudging the ISS's orbit higher by 370 feet at apogee and 3,700 feet at perigee. Historically, such reboosts, necessary to counteract the orbital decay caused by atmospheric drag, were the domain of Russia's Progress spacecraft, or Northrop Grumman's Cygnus. From this mission, we can see Dragon's ability to adjust the altitude of the ISS, raising it by increments measured in tenths of a mile, demonstrates a dual-purpose versatility that sets Dragon apart. Traditionally a workhorse for crew and cargo transport, delivering over 6,000 pounds of supplies in its CRS-31 mission just days before the reboost, Dragon now doubles as an orbital maintenance tool. This capability reduces NASA's reliance on foreign partners like Roscosmos, whose Progress spacecraft have long been the ISS's primary tugboat. With geopolitical tensions simmering since Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine, Dragon's new role offers strategic flexibility, ensuring the U.S. can independently sustain the ISS's orbit through at least 2030. But the real game-changer lies in what comes next, Dragon's starring role in the ISS's grand finale. NASA's $843 million contract with SpaceX, awarded in July 2024, tasks the company with building the U.S. deorbit vehicle, USDV, a beefed-up Dragon variant designed to guide the 925,000-pound station to a controlled demise in the early 2030. Unlike the current Cargo Dragon, which uses 16 Draco thrusters, the USDV will sport 46, 30 dedicated to deorbit burns, packing six times the propellant and three to four times the power of its siblings. This souped-up Dragon on steroids will dock at the ISS's forward port, linger for up to 18 months as the station's orbit naturally decays, then execute a series of precise burns to steer it into a 2,000-kilometer-long oceanic graveyard, likely the South Pacific's Point Nemo. The November reboost provided critical data for this mission, validating Dragon's thruster performance under real orbital conditions, a dress rehearsal for the USDV's Herculean task. Deorbiting the ISS, a football field-sized behemoth traveling at 17,100 miles per hour demands precision to ensure surviving fragments from microwave-sized chunks to sedan-scale debris hit an unpopulated target. The USDV's 35,000 pounds of propellant and 10,000 newtons of thrust must wrestle with atmospheric drag and structural torques, a challenge Sarah Walker, SpaceX's Dragon Mission Management Director, called complex and critical. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.